like you said, is you keep a calm head and a cool head because obviously I'm sure if someone says that to you, you just want to crack them in the face and really right. show them that it's not right. But as you said, I think as a professional footballer, you know, you have to act like a pro on and off the pitch. Which is, yeah, it's just surprising for me, you know, cause I, it's 2023, you know, I didn't think like this was like, still around. Yeah, I just wanted to get into it. Uh, I don't think it's a very, let's say it's a taboo subject. Not a lot of people like to talk about it, but like on this podcast, I like to bring out the truth and everything. Cause I think that's how we learn as footballers and as humans. And, you know, I asked you before, you know, about Latvia and what you thought. And obviously, you know, I don't see from your perspective, everyone has their own set of eyes. You know, what has been your overall thought living here, their overall vibe? Um, you know, day to day social life, because I think that's very important as a footballer as well. You know, obviously you got to pick the right friends to hang out with. Most of them are your, are your teammates. Um, how do you, how do you see that the day to day? Right. So um, so it's like it's challenging. Like some days, you know. Obviously, I think the country is like it's a very small country, and I don't know if it's like uh, really open like to the world, because um, not a lot of people come into this country like. I had no idea what Latvia was before I even came here. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, me being uh, from Africa and being, you know, black, mm -hmm. uh, like people uh, look at me a little different, you know, because yeah. obviously they don't see uh, people that look like me like each day, every day, or whatever. Like they see, uh, they see us like on the TV and stuff. Yeah. So it's like unusual. Yeah. Uh, I think for them, you know, so that's been challenging. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I mean, it's it's disappointing. Um, you know, have there been any specific instances that you've just been like surprised and like, what's your response to that? It must be be tough mentally, you know? Right. Yeah. So obviously, like every day, uh, like most days, you know, some people will come up to me and just say how dark I am. You know, like I'm very black, like they've never seen somebody like me and stuff like that, you know, which is like, it's yeah, it's frustrating, you know, like I get angry, but I'm a professional football player, you know, yeah. as well. So I can't like... Uh, like react too much, you know, because it's not yeah. going to look good yeah. on me or my club, you know. Yeah. So obviously, you know, like I say like a few words and stuff and then that's that. But like, yeah, yeah it's not, no, it's not good. Like, I don't want to say like I'm used to it because it's happened like so much. Yeah. But like, it's just I can't do anything like yeah. about it really, you know. So I have to like, yeah, not accept it, but obviously I'll say something, you know. Yeah. And then just, yeah, just yeah, let yeah. it be and try not think about it too much. 100%. More. Have you noticed that in other countries or has it been more like obvious and pertinent here? No, no, just here. Wow. Yeah, like obviously in America, no, because obviously there's so many Africans, yeah. like black people there yeah. as well. In yeah. New Zealand, no, in Australia, no, Belgium, no, like no other country wow. apart from here, you know, and yeah. like, uh, which is, yeah, it's just surprising for me, you know, because I, yeah. it's 2023, you know, I didn't think like this was like still around. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I've seen that as well, man. Like, you know, people still hold the pat their behaviors from, you know, that they've learned from others. You know what I mean? It's 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 sad. And nowadays, you know, there's there's media swaying one person to the other side, and no one can think for themselves nowadays. You know what I mean? So it's it, it's sad. You know. But yeah, I mean, you know, obviously you talked about also one incident. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about any specific teams or anything like that, but you said you, you underwent an incident during, during a match. There was some racism. Yeah, obviously it was like, uh, like a couple months ago, I think, you know, we played uh, two comes and then one guy just, you know, was just being racist, you know, which is unbelievable. Like, because uh, he's a football player. Like he knows that there's yeah. black people in football, you know, like yeah. he knows that that's not okay. Like he knows yeah. that racism is not okay. You know, which is so heartbreaking, you know, because like the sport should just bring everybody together and stuff like that. 100%. And then what made it worse was like the ref gave him, gave him like a yellow card for that, you know, and like uh, nobody from his club or the Federation of Latvia didn't really like take any actions of that, you know, wow. which is... Wow. Yeah. Did, did you report it to your club and they, did they yes. take any action or...? Yes, uh, my club did, you know, but like, yeah, that was all, you know, and like, it's just... It's just sad. It's just sad that like the federation didn't do anything yeah. about it, because then yeah. it makes it seem like it's okay, you know, 100%. which is yeah, which is not. Yeah. Like a yellow card, like this. Yeah, yeah. 
and I got a yellow card for reacting as well. No way, yeah. no way. Right. And, and you told the ref what happened? Yes, like the ref, I told the ref everything, and the guy was, uh, he was admitting, you know, as well, and he was apologizing, saying, oh, it was in the moment, you know. And that's, so the ref knew about it, you yeah. know, and then, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we see it in, 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 in the top clubs, but, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's 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 not an easy thing. I mean, you know, pe what about advice for, you know, people who go through that you know I mean it's it's not easy like you said you get angry but I think the most important thing like you said is you keep a calm head and a cool head because obviously I'm sure if someone says that to you you just want to crack them in the face and really right show them that it's not right but as you said I think as a professional footballer that's very well said you know you have to act like a pro on and off the pitch so what's your advice to people going through that you know what i mean just uh oh, yes obviously everybody like reacts differently you know yeah. so um i would just say care about it but uh don't let it like bother you just you know like you're better than that you're better than that person you know yeah i mean i think like the best advice is to listen to what you said just keep a cool head move on you know and then uh, you know just watch out you know watch yourself with these people but yeah, man, let's move off, off of the subject. You know, uh, thanks for sharing that. I think it's going to be very helpful for people. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click one of these two videos right here to stay up to date with the best football development channel here on YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to drink your sparkling water. Deuces.